Hello everybody, uh, this is the second part of the uh, tutorial for using Runway ML. Uh, now we're going to move into something a little bit more advanced and we're going to use Runway to um, send information to uh, Grasshopper. So that is actually pretty cool. So remember I showed you what Runway ML is in the previous video, uh, more or less like how it works. And now I'm going to show you because um, Grasshopper they have like several uh, options for developers. Um, how to, for example, learn. They have an SDK if you're into coding. Uh, we can check that in the future. And they have also GitHub where they uh, provide some other tools. So, for example, how to use Runway ML in Unity, how to use Runway ML for Photoshop. That is like pretty cool also because I show you some. Uh, interesting models um, for example for image segmentation uh, they have processing library and one of the coolest things that they are using right now is or they they provided uh, it was updated uh, a month ago is the runway ml for grasshopper so if you go here um, you can uh, clone this repository or you can download clicking here downloading the zip file and you will get a bunch of uh, interesting things for you to use so uh, the zip file contains a readme of course from the git uh, it has some samples files that we will check and also it has the source file so here you will find um, a C sharp project uh, so you can compile, modify, or contribute to the project. That is actually pretty cool. So if you think that something is not working correctly or you want to make modifications and you have the skills to do it, uh, you can open this in Visual Studio and you can modify it and contribute to this. For now, the thing that you, uh, we're interested in is this file, the GHA uh, file that you can install by following the typical uh, uh, procedures like going to Grasshopper in this case I'm working on Mac just to show you as I said that this works also uh, on Mac for some of the examples you need to use this <coughs> on Windows uh, here if you go to preferences sorry not preferences you go to uh, Files, special folders, components folders. Uh, this will open this, and you will find like many of the um, Grasshopper plugins that you can use. And in this case, uh, you can, you must copy the runway ML GHA file. Um, if you're in Windows, remember to unblock it. Um, so let me close this. And um, then you need to restart Rhino and Grasshopper to make this work. So after you do that, you will find this tab that is called Runway. And you will find three components. And the main component is this one, Runway. Uh, you have an input data, so you can also like filter uh, the different data that Runway will send you and also you can show image. This one will work specifically or in a better way in um, Windows because, or if, I mean, we can find a way to actually code something to get the information from an image into Grasshopper. For now, we're gonna do something like more basic. In this tutorial specifically, it will be a short one. We will show you how to uh, just get the information from wrong way to your camera. So what we will do is the, um, first. So what you want to do first is to go to runway tab and click on this component. And here, basically, it will tell you that it needs a couple of inputs. Right now, uh, you don't have any information, so the component is not working, of course. The input, uh, we need to provide basically the HTTP address of the local server 
where runway is. We need to connect to runway to get the information. And so for that, we will provide a panel. And for that, we will do HTTP uh, torn slash slash uh, localhost. Uh, and the port is, if I remember correctly, 8000. So we will check that. Um, so we have this. We will connect this into uh, this guy. Uh, right now, we need to tell Runway what do we want to get. We want to get the data, we want to get the info, we want to get like any errors that we can get. And also we have here the button, or basically the option to connect the button, or the Boolean toggle to say, okay, run the, the, the client basically to receive all the information. So here we will do a Boolean toggle. We will uh, copy this and we will say that yeah, we want to get everything. So we will set this to true. For now, we will set this to false. Uh, we don't have the model running on runway, so that is important. Make sure that uh, we can actually. Command here, do I don't know, like a group and set the name like member to run runway first before setting this to true. Um, we will add some panels. So this is the output data that we're getting. We will also get the this and this so let's see what happens so now we have this set of course remember always to save your work uh, I will save it let me save this to the desktop so runway to this hopper and now we will go to runway ML And I have the model. I will do everything again. So here you can find um, capture. We'll do the human pose estimation. The input, I will select the camera. So I'm working. That's my cat over there in the back. <laughs> and um, if you set the parameters, I mean, the parameters are OK. You can do like single pose estimation, um, or multi pose. I mean, that's okay. You can play with the parameters, um, and we can say like run locally. So now the model is running. It's recognizing my face. It's recognizing uh, my arms. It's pretty robust implementation. Uh, if I'm standing, it will recognize like more parts. For now, I'm interested in recognizing. My Face and recognize my hands. And here you can see that the server address we are connecting is actually yes, port 8000. So this is uh, actually working now. We have this running. So the only thing that we need to do in order to start interacting with uh, Grasshopper now that we have all this set is turn this to true. And you can see how I will zoom in. Uh, we are getting information. We are getting poses. Basically, we're getting one pose that is my body. We see that we are receiving uh, data. Here, it's saying the information is getting like this. It's getting like uh, this is the data structure that is receiving. Uh, for example, like hip, shoulders, hands, and so on. And we're not getting any error, so that is actually pretty cool. So um, now we will try to do uh, one more thing, and that's for the next tutorial. We will try to actually draw our body inside uh, runway ML. And the next tutorial we will work with images, and we will try to um, get the results from like image synthesis, for example, inside Grasshopper. 
but for that we will move on Windows because there are some plugins that we need that are incompatible with uh, Mac. So see you next video.